Hey everybody, welcome to another Broadfield webinar. As you can tell, I'm not Jim and I'm not Gary, but I am Brittany and this is my co-host, Courtney Walk. And today we're going to show you guys all the fun stuff we learned at NAB last week. Let's dive into it. Yeah, to start off, so one of the biggest things and one of the most packed out boots were New Tech, the revolutionary new TriCaster TC1. I mean, the control surface was like almost the size of Brittany. Just kidding. True. Just, just kidding. Um, things to look out for though, we have dual streaming, redundancy power, and 16 inputs. Lucky enough, we do have our friend Chris Burgos to show us all about that. So let's take a look at this clip right now. We're here at NAB in Las Vegas, and we're showcasing off the brand new TriCaster TC1. If you guys are familiar with New Tech, it's a great iteration, but we're going to talk about all the features from the ground up. We have 16 external inputs into our switcher. That's a big upgrade from where we were, double from where the 8000 was. We have two channels of video playback. So you want to integrate your videos with your, with your production. We have two channels of graphics allowing us to add lo custom lower thirds, custom content. Really get your production in your hands. But that's kind of some of that features are a little older. What we have new is two built-in channels of Skype TX. If you guys aren't familiar with Skype TX, it's a partnership with Windows and three companies. New Tech is the only company in the United States that integrates T Skype TX. If you would like to see the whole video, you can check them out on YouTube. For the purpose of this webinar, we're only going to show clips. The next booth we visited was Avid. Unfortunately, this booth was packed. Shoulder to shoulder, we had no room for a tripod. We have taken what we learned and put it into this slideshow. I'm going to walk you through it. So, we learned a lot about new things at Avid. First, I want to talk about Avid Media Composer First, which will be released this June. That's so soon. Yeah, it is soon. Yeah. Avid is on it. Yeah. Right? It doesn't so, look free. Right? It's free. So, oh. Media Composer First provides users with a comprehensive yet simple to use editing interface and tool set. It's Avid Media Composer, just not, it's like, it's like the mini version. It's really great, it's gonna be a great tool. Um, you have all the functionality that Avid Media Composer editors use, but in a new powerful streamlined interface, downloadable for a great price of nothing. Avid also announced their new DNX IQ, which will accelerate your HD, Ultra HD, 2K, and 4K workflow. This means you don't have to take a break when you render. It also means that you won't have time to grab a sandwich while you render because your rendering speeds will be like, boom, done. I'll still grab a sandwich. I'll find time. But you I need I get the sandwich. Yeah. Take the sandwich. Also, with the Avid Artist DNX IQ, they're offering a 10% off discount now through June 30th. So don't hesitate, get it today. Avid has a lot of stuff going on in June. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Avid Nexus Pro is a great machine for collaborators. You get to work on one project from multiple workstations all together at the same time. Simultaneous workflow from different locations. I can't explain how cool that is. It's just awesome. We pair up the 20 terabyte engine with a Dell N2024 switch for less than 10 grand. That's a steal. And even more exciting, at the Telestream booth, that was another crazy crowded booth and they have some really fun things to share. Uh, new and Wirecast 7.6 added support for NDI because we know how like, important and like, popular it's getting. Um, you can also stream to Periscope, and it'll appear natively in your Twitter feeds, and I know everyone's excited for it. Yes. I remember when Periscope went away, everyone was like, pretty upset about that. Right, I mean, yeah. I, I'm not sure why they went away. I don't know either. I've never actually used it, but the fact that they're pairing with it, it's going to be something special. Um, Wirecast gear, though, all the rage, all the time. Available always, starting at 4995 We have Jeremy Strootman talking a little bit more about the gear in this upcoming clip, so check that out. Hello everyone, Jeremy Strootman, channel manager for Telestream here. Uh, Wirecast gear is all the rage at this year's show. Uh, the Wirecast gear is based on the uh, famous Wirecast software, but we've got a handy little appliance here, turnkey solution uh, with four HDSDI inputs or four HDMI inputs, depending on the model you need. 
Wirecast is the premier streaming solution with integration into Facebook Live, uh, Periscope as of recently, and now we're announcing NDI support. So come on by, uh, reach out to Broadfield for any inquiries, and we will help you out with demo solutions, demo software, uh, demo systems, and uh, the Broadfield folks will take care of you. All right, so more new stuff from any of you that we got to see in person. You want to talk big? The new Adamo Sumo just came out. Uh, monitor recorder, 19 inches. It was like the size of Brittany's head. Actually, probably bigger. Yeah, yeah my, my, my head. Yeah. And I always tell her that she's small, she gets kind of mad. But anyway, um, 19 inches. It's like the big brother to the Ninja Inferno, which we have next up. My bad. Right. <laughs> so it, we have um, shipping now, we have the Ninja Inferno and the Shogun Inferno. I believe the Sumo will be shipping this summer. But even more fun, your friend won it. Right. Jason Baker from Lock One Productions won the raffle at NAB, and he will be shipped one <laughs> once they release them. I believe the release date is June or July. I'm not sure. Everything's in June. That's yeah. what I feel like it is. June is a poppin' month. But then again, so, more excitingly, we'll check out Ryan Brown's video more about the sumo and really in depth and like i said we'll put a link to all of our other videos so you can watch the full length ones at the end of this webinar so check this video out hi it's ryan brown i'm on the nab show floor 2017. Uh, we're showing off our new sumo 19. think of this as kind of like a shogun inferno shogun inferno technology as i like to say the bigger brother if you look on the back side we're going to have quad coming in up to 1080 60. You're gonna be able to have a split screen. I don't have that demo on here, but we have another station that you can check that out. You have all your Atom OS that you're used to seeing. You can see if we take it to Rec 709, we're basically at 100 IRE, but when we come into Atom HDR, we open that right up and you can see how much range we have on our image, which is amazing. Some of the cool things that you're gonna see specifically with the Sumo that you're not gonna see on any other product. We actually have speakers, we have 2.1, so there's two firing below. We have a little sub in the back. Um, we have all these beautiful uh, quarter 20 and mounts that we can take and bring other things into our workflow here. So you might actually put a camera on here. Maybe you're putting some other devices that you want to piggyback on here, which is pretty cool. The Epifan booth had plenty to offer. I'm going to focus on the Pearl 2 right now, and there's more information on this in the full video. But quickly, just so you know, this switcher is 4K all the way. Stream, record, capture, mix, cut, you're ready to go. Great product. Excitingly is their new product is the Webcaster X2. So George Herbert really goes in depth with this in the video that we're about to play. But I just have to tell you, this is an awesome product. You get to stream directly to, from a camera to either Facebook or YouTube from the same device, which if you were an X1 user, you know that you had to have two separate devices. But George goes into a lot more detail, so let's check that out. Today we wanted to look at a brand new product from Epifan, uh, sort of a continuation of an existing product, and that will be our Webcaster X2. The X2 is following up on the success of the Webcaster X1, has a few new features added into it, smaller size, but a lot of the same great features in terms of ease of use, quick setup, and of course HDMI in. There's a lot of things we're going to be adding to this product going forward as well. Some I can talk about, some I can't. It's a little bit smaller, which is nice, more portable. And of course, we now have the ability to do both Facebook Live and YouTube Live on one device. It's either or, not simultaneous. And with the press of a button on the side, you can change modes between Facebook and YouTube. And so instead of buying two devices like the X1, you can now buy one device and choose which platform you want to use. All right, more new stuff from NAB. G Technology, a trusted brand, new USB-C and Thunderbolt 3. We have G Drive with Thunderbolt 3, G Raid with Thunderbolt 3, and the G Speed Solo XL with Thunderbolt 3. All fast, all reliable, save your time, this comes with warranty. We have Ken Higgins to show us all about the new stuff going on that happened at NAB last week. Ken Higgins with G Technology. Welcome to our booth. It's an awesome booth today. So, with three new products uh, G Drive with Thunderbolt 3, it comes with two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a C port as well. We also have the new G Raid with Thunderbolt 3. 
You get two Thunderbolt 3 ports for daisy, for daisy chain availability. You get a USB-C port for backward compatibility older systems. And you get a HDMI port on it as well. And that allows you to use the device as a dock. The last product that we introduced to the show is our, uh, is our shuttle with Thunderbolt 3. Thunderbolt 3 uh, has two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the back. Goes from Thunderbolt 3 capacity up to 96 terabytes of capacity, uh, either with eight drives in the system or six drives in the system. If you do the six drive system, we give you two EV docks. That allows you to use our, what we call our evolutionary series workflow through, through the work. So you can actually have devices called readers. They'll take C, uh, compact flashcards. It'll take uh, the red reader card, and it'll take the Atomos Caddy as well. One of the more exciting booths at NAB was the LiveView. LiveView is a newer company, and their booth was very engaging. They had a live show going on. We had the opportunity to talk with Sebastian, and he really went through their new product. But I want to just reiterate that we had extended our LiveView solo encoder with the LRT cloud server until the 31st of this month. So plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'm going to pop it over to Sebastian. He's going to tell you all about the LiveView 600. Welcome to the LiveView NAB booth. Uh, we're proud to announce some great uh, improvements on our on our products. We have our new HEVC Pro card for LU 600, which enables to stream 4K. Uh, it also streams uh, 1080p with half the bandwidth required. Uh, it's a highly efficient card that has a dedicated encoder chip like, because it's using less power. We also have our new partnership with uh, Singular Live, which is allow allows uh, solo users to push to uh, their cloud and put uh, cloud graphics and design the graphics, push them live and produce them live to the cloud using the Singular Live and, and push it to faces, places like Facebook and YouTube. Um, we have new features for our 600. Uh, we have the data bridge modes, of which makes it into a broadband hotspot, which you connect to either, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We have new video return. Our new LU210 and 220 encoder rack mount units. A lot of more exciting things that we have yet to announce. More exciting stuff at NAB that we got to see firsthand. The Matrix Monarch HDX now has closed captioning, 1995 MSRP. Check that out. Um, one of the biggest things that we saw, we talked about with Dan Maloney, he got to share with us um, the Matrix Monarch LCS Lecture Capture Appliance has some new updates, so check out this video with Dan, um, more descriptive and the fuller version, but for now, check out this short clip that we have of him. In particular, we have the newest of the family, the Monarch LCS. The LCS was launched, launched last NAB, and it's really had quite a lot of success exactly where we want it to be, in the education space. Now to attract, to really make sure we attract the most, make the most noise in that space and attract the most partners, we've included a number of interesting features that we're showcasing here. These include the ability to store and forward, so to record locally and transfer up to the cloud or to a local server content recorded during the day. We also have the ability to run off scheduling. So having uh, content on the VMS platform uh, scheduled to be recorded is uh, sucked in by the LCS for scheduled recording. Teradek had some really exciting news. They have, they're introducing the Cube 700, which is an encoder and decoder for not only HD, but 4K2 into an H.265. So great, and it attaches right to the camera. Beautiful, no cellular data used. Super cost effective, but we talked with John Landman. He's gonna walk you through the specs. Dean, this is John Landman from Teradec. I'd like to talk to you about an encoder that we've released today, which is the Cube 700. It's an H.265 encoder. So why are we pushing H.265? What is that gonna mean for the guys that are using our existing cubes to stream or send from point to point over the public internet. Well, H.265 will basically half the, half the data rates that you're going to need in order to send a feed to the internet. So if you were streaming point to point over the public internet or over a cell modem, for example, at three megs, you'd now use half of that, a meg and a half. So let's take, for example, AT&T that charges you 10 bucks a gigabyte your cost would now be five because you're sending half as much data. 
we are really excited to have GB Labs Fast NAS storage solution. Um, they all have a, a new staff, new resources coming available. Um, a lot more information we'll give to you guys soon. For now, here is a look at what Dominic had to say about Fast NAS and all about GB Labs at NAB. We've had a really great show so far, um, and for those of you who can't be here or haven't managed to pop by, um, we've got the brand new FastNAS range of products on show. Um, it's been very, very well received. What we've effectively managed to do is take all the performance of SSDs and combine that with the capacity and cost of spinning disk. So we can provide a central storage system that is exceptionally fast for very good value for money. We've got um, full complement of uh, products on the booths, and um, they start from only just under $10,000. Bird Dog, they did it this year. They had the Studio NDI there. I got to see it. I got to touch it. It's not released yet. It's coming soon. We got to talk with Dan, and he's going to tell us more about it. Hi, I'm Dan from Bird Dog. Here at the show, we've uh, launched Bird Dog Studio NDI. Studio NDI is designed to take your regular video inputs, so that can be SDI and HDMI, and convert that out to Nutex NDI format. So it converts all of your live video into a network connection. The advantage of going to NDI means that you can then use any computer network in your building to move the video around. So rather than taking SDI signals and running long runs, you can just plug it into a network point wherever it's convenient. It makes it really easy to pop up an interview anywhere you'd like on a network. On top of that, we also have power over Ethernet, so you don't need to power this device. It takes the power directly from the network. And it uses the NDI standard, as I mentioned, which means there's uh, dozens and dozens of products that will actually understand the video that comes out of here. The speed that we take the video and convert it into NDI is less than one frame, so it's very fast to get to the other end. Uh, and uh, on top of that, you'll notice a screen on the front of it as well. The Glyph Atom drives are seriously becoming like one of my favorite hard drives to work with. And we, you loved it. Yeah, I loved it. We had one at NAB for our DIT process. And what I loved was that we had a Mac. I was able to put everything onto my Glyph Atom drive, come here, back to New York, plug it into my PC, everything's there, everything's compatible. No software updates, no partitioning, just plug and go, it works. They're aluminum, Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, fast, reliable, it's aluminum and it comes in a rugged case so I wasn't worried about it. They were great. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to swing by their booth, but Court did. I did. So luckily, I got a chance to talk with Eric Cardinale, one of my favorite people. Um, we did, he talked about the new Studio Rates, full version video in, the, in their YouTube channel, which we will show you later on. But what we really did focus on was the Black Box Plus line, New updates to show, you, to show you, so check out this video right now. Also from Glyph is a new upgrade to our Black Box Plus line. A really exciting new upgrade with an 8 terabyte SSD. Yes, you heard me right. 8 terabyte SSD in this little tiny package using USB-C connection. So it comes with two cables, USB-C from C to C and C to USB. Fast, reliable, rugged, an 8 terabyte SSD, and also a 4 terabyte SSD option in this unit. Uh, so great product, great new upgrade, very exciting to have in this little Black Box Plus line. Uh, one last update is our Black Box Pro line, a very rugged uh, three and a half inch, great product. This unit is also going to have a 10 terabyte upgrade. So now you can get 10 terabytes in this unit, take it with you on the go, do all your editing, store all your data, and be backed by a great warranty from Glyph. Thanks, everybody. While at the Roland booth, we got to talk with Rob Reed, and he walked us through a whole tutorial, which is available on YouTube, about the new titling software with the VR4 HD. We're going to check out this video. Rob's going to go over all the updates and the new features, and you can watch the whole thing on our YouTube page. And I'm actually showing the new version, software version of the Roland VR4 HD. Again, the VR4 HD is an integrated audio mixer and a video mixer with USB out for web streaming or recording, built-in touchscreen, uh, multi-view, um, and also has some awesome audio effects. But what I want to show you today is the brand new software version 1.5 
which adds titling and lower thirds capabilities. So let's show this new title editor and you can download this at proav.roland.com. All right, last but not least on um, PTC Optics, unfortunately we don't have a video because our little buddy Paul kind of threw me on camera, which I wasn't happy about. And if you watch it, you can see all the faces I make during it. Just kidding, it was actually a great live production. <laughs> Brittany was on there too for the Q&A, so definitely right. check that out. But what was really important is the new PTZ producer kits. Just to tell you a little bit about that, the all new PTZ producer kits from PTZ Optics are a complete turnkey live streaming systems built around the groundbreaking Intel NUC Skull Canyon Micro PC. These systems are available with the 12X, the 20X optical zoom, 3G SDI cameras, finally make television quality video production affordable, which we did see demonstrated. Um, Paul had a whole setup with his kit. Um, it was great. Like I said, check out his video. I mean, you saw it. That was right. great he production. Had, um, a green screen. He pulled in okay. us. He pulled in other guests as well. He actually had tests remoting in back and forth, a live mm -hmm. feed going. Their booth was really cool. It was set up like in a 360 like yeah. way rather than well, yeah. Speaking of that, like with hundreds of potential potential video angles made possible with the PTZ camera, mm -hmm. um, it included the 3D PTZ joystick system. Uh, will make any venue your next live streaming destination. So definitely check those out. We'll have those up ready for you guys to check out soon. Um, and that about concludes our webinar this week. Right. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you tune in next time for more updates and great things happening here at Broadfield Distributing. I'm Brittany and for my partner, Courtney Walk. Have a great day.